Tarbin, do you have a second? I was wondering if... I am Guthpen, Eivor. It means battle bone. Not the name of a cheery baker, is it? Not one who bakes bread, no. So, how did you earn this name? Before I came here, I lived another life. A brutal, bloody life. I served with a gang of mercenaries. I was their weapon, roaming the wilds of England. Did whatever they asked of me, and all they asked was violence. When I left, I laid this sword on the grass and made a vow. I swore never to spill another drop of blood, to abandon acts of violence, to never kill again. A hard promise for a hard man. It wasn't, not for me. This life here is all I've ever wanted. I've never been more at peace. This is my doing. I brought all this upon you. It is down to me to fix it. Tarbin, by threatening you, they threaten my clan. I cannot allow that. These men are foul, Eivor. You should not have to fight my battles for me. Do you not hear me, Tarbin? If they threaten you, they threaten me. So let us face them, together. Very well. Meet me outside when you're ready. I believe I know where they will be. If you wish to face your old friends, I'm ready when you are. Good. I'll lead the way. I want you to know, should it come to blows with my old crew, I can handle it myself. Forgiving me is all the work you need to do. There's nothing to forgive. You walked away. They pursued. By axe or by fist, I will do what must be done to protect my clan. <laughs> You're living the life you want, aren't you? Before we are spotted, tell me what I should expect here. Will they attack us on sight? I shouldn't think so. No. Yeah. Nothing like that. It's not how Wilf operates. Yes, he's a clever one. And rather kind when you meet him. Yeah. Makes you feel like you're a friend. Family. I Show me what lies ahead. You see some value in me. He told me I had a gift for intimidation. Persuasion. Violence. Just by the size and strength of me, he knew how to use me. What do they want from you now? They'll want me back. They'll want me to be the man they think I am. Monstrous and massive. Wilf and them were the only family I had then. But their love was conditioned. Wilf only loves what he owes. So what do you intend? I know I won't go back. I don't want more blood on my hands. But apart from that, it's hard to say. Who knows what they have in mind?
stopping. That house, there. They're likely within. It won't look like much, Eivor. But don't be fooled. And don't take Wilf lightly, charming as he seems. The man is a serpent. I've met plenty of charmers who turned out to be snakes. I know, I know. Only a warning. Let's go inside. Gotham, my boy, as I live and breathe, you got my message. And you brought a friend. Who might you be, Dane? His new leash? I am Eivor, and the woman you robbed was one of my clan. That will not stand. I know, I know. I'm busted up about it. But tell Tekla, was it? Tell her that Arayal is some of the finest we've tasted. I am done with you, Wilf. But we are not done with you, boy. We gave you food. Shelter, ale to drink, riches galore. We made you who you are. For all you did for him, he repaid you with blood and sweat. Did he not? You're a fiery one, I like that. But the ink was dried on this deal well before your number arrived in England. If you wish to clear Tarbin's name, I'm happy to help with that. It's only a small matter of cost. Some weeks back, soldiers confiscated my personal wares, shall we say. Tried to confiscate me as well, but I gave him the slip. If you're keen, you could recover my belongings and return them to me. Do that, and your name is clear. I... I can't. I promised myself I would leave all this behind, but... If it will clear Tarbin's name, we will recover what is yours. Where are these soldiers? Camped not far to the west. A battalion of bloated, brainwashed military men. You can't miss it for the smell. Wait here, then. We will return before you sprout another pair of horns. God go with you, Eivor. You found it! I did. Let's bring this back to wealth. You handled that better than I would have. Is this the sort of work you did with Wilf and your family of Marauders? A quick robbery like this? That was the least of our work. We stole from the poor, killed the helpless, cheated the dimwit. We were lower than slugs. Oh, -ho! they have returned. We have your goods. Beautiful. Beautiful. Put them there. The ledger. Of course. Happy to honor it. My goodness, such a lack of trust these days. It's a dark age, no mistake. That's it then. We're done? Aye. You are free to walk from this place and live as Tarbin the boring bread maker for the rest of your days. But you, Eivor, if you ever get tired of the settled life, we could always use a thief with your skills. Think about it.
Rilf offered him. He looked at me, took me in and told me who I was. Who I could be. I don't crave that belonging anymore. Among you lot, people accept me as I am. The greatest gift I ever got. Peace. Many men are calm because they have never known a storm. You weathered the storm and worked through it. That is a rare thing. That means a lot. Thank you. Good to be home again. That is, if I haven't robbed myself of the pleasure of calling it home. Tarbin, in spite of all, you're welcome here. And you owe us nothing but the work you love. Right. Payment in fresh loaves of bread. I can manage that. But first, one scrap of your past remains. Right. The ledger. Toss it. And purge the past. With pleasure.
Glad to see you made it, Chilpat. Thanks to Sigurd, he was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Lith Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. You have not been long in England, have you? An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Give it time, little lord. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yeah. Day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child? My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer.
excellent choice and a lucky one too for nothing in stock lingers very long my selection changes daily now that you are friends with me you are also a friend of the thousand eyes as well and what does this mean observe my outfit note the scarf i wear as you travel you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments these are my people my other eyes seek them out for trade or contracts Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Greater honor than what to serve aboard doing? your sea steed, Eivor. Come, show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. While you were away, your Jungs Vikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. All right, bring out my lieutenant. I would like to reorganize the crew. Who you needed? I will see you later, friend. Pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. 
And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. Our settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea-salted eyes. Volka! God, Zabo, what brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I have built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they've always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the old father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there. Thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home.
of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaun and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstorp. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret route of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I'm ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Jom's Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest. This river does not appear on any maps. Few know how to navigate it, but the Yom's Vikinga have been learning its current. His friend said it was a smuggling route for Roman traders. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it was so well hidden, you could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look, there! Villages! Not holders of wealth, mind you, but well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for the crew.
remember, my crew is like a pack of trained warriors. They will respond to your order. Fights and taverns. Well, stay alert. Smoke from the flames will alert camps down river. The fighting will get tougher as we go. Hey, there's no need for this. Military camp. You will find foreign supplies and even gear if you're lucky. They will put up a fight, but so be it, yeah? Die! 
That was invigorating, and as lucrative as I promised ya. Think we have got enough supplies here to put something together? Something like what? A place to stay where we can stretch out. A hall. Wouldn't want to bother Adis and the rest. You know Adis? Uh, I... I know of Adis. Her reputation as a fighter and as a trainer precedes her. Simply wouldn't want to get in her way. I see. Well, we have space for a hall, and with enough supplies, we can make something in due time. since we've had a permanent place to gather and share stories. Come here to hire more Yom speaking girl for your raids. With time, it will attract some impressive fighters. Real talents. Ah, Eivor. I have been meaning to mention to you the legacy of St. George. Is this some sort of ridiculous legend? It is. The story is that the revered saint's legacy, lost for hundreds of years, is divided and hidden across England. Such a great treasure, and yet no one has any idea where even a single piece could be? Until now. For months I have heard whispers that match the stories. And now my scouts have returned with a map. The rivers Seven and X both play a role in George's legend. Very well. That is where we will search. But keep a lookout for hints of other hiding places. Nothing is known for certain. Whether any of it actually exists, I cannot say. 
care to go find out? Sounds tempting. I'll go. Good luck. Up for some raiding?
for some raiding? <laughs> 